Forge. Hi, I'm Will Forge, and today we will forge. Not sufficient disk space is what I was going to huh, about. Um, so, yeah, I need to um, I need to go in there and delete a bunch of videos so that I can actually set it up to where we record separately from having the music. So on stream, I can have a different music than I record onto the uh, you know videos. So um, we're a little bit delayed there, but I haven't gotten to it yet. But I will. I will. Oh, my mic is over here. It's probably sounded very weird. There we go. Much better. Okay, we are good to go. We're good to go. Where is, we got chat up, we got music, and we got forge. Okay, so... What? Why is this so gray? It's not over there. What? What color is this? Why is this? This one's set to white. Oh, I see. This somehow got set. Oh, it's the wall in here. Oh, I understand now. Okay, yeah, I need to. I need to replace. I need to put a, a separate piece inside here for this wall because that's not. That's not gonna work. Or, or I need to figure out a way to uh, instead of using this. Yeah, I'm probably gonna do this. Okay. Why is this part of the prefab? Oh, because it's all of these wall pieces that I prefab together. Last stream. I recognize that now. Hey, how's it going? It looks like someone has joined. Probably Aaron. Is there a good thickness there? Yes, there is. Okay, I think I can probably do this by grabbing something like this, which is a wall piece instead of a um, whoop object, which is a wall piece instead of a uh, floor piece, and then I can just make it look the same, but with. I mean, this one has two swatches, two regions. Let's see. Ceramic tiles. Yeah, no, this is still just the, the floor, so it doesn't have anything on it. Let's see. Okay, well, I'm going to set this to probably no color, and then just see what that looks like with the concrete, because I think that's what it is, just the raw. Concrete raw. Let's see, why did it not actually lose its color? And then we'll go down here, and we'll set this to the white, which I believe is not set to 90% intensity. It's set to the full 100% intensity, and then we're gonna get this these uh, scales here, and we're gonna put replace this block because that'll that should fix it. 11.2. Uh, Hopefully, it scales the same way. Hmm. Yeah, that looks to be about right. And then 32. That's correct. Is that supposed to be that wide? Oh, yeah, yeah, it is, because that's down here. It's the same exact width of a walkway. It's the same wa walkway, 28.11. So that's the final number here, 28.11. And then we've got that. Now I just got to snap it into there. There we go. And then it will let me delete the other one. Hmm, well, it almost works. I need to fix that up. I, uh, I might put a, a slope there anyway, because actually now that I look at it, I'm thinking... It might be cool to have... Is this a... This is one right here. It might be cool to have a bit of a slope right here. Not exactly right there. More like that. And make it come in there anyway. Um, and go all the way back to the wall. With that. Sort of come off there. At a slightly different angle than the than the uh, area right before it, anyway. I kind of like that anyway, and it'll hide that little color shift. And obviously, I got it. Well, maybe not. Maybe I'll just change it to where it hides it differently. I don't know. Just trying to save on uh, pieces by using a wall that has two different colors on it. But why is this all white now? What happened? <laughs> is it? No. What color is this? Concrete raw. Oh, what in the world is happening? Everything I touch gets brighter. What is happening here? Is that going to happen here too? Ah. What? Wait, that doesn't make any sense. Oh boy, is there a forge bug hitting me right now? This is... Not right, something is going on here. Let me pull on this piece. Yeah. Concrete raw with no color applied. Dumb game, Lamal. Avatar 4K Blu-ray announced. Oh nice. Shh. 
I have no idea what's going on. Is it the color spread being at 30 on the other one that makes it look like that? No. Okay, I, I have no idea why this is colored completely different. It's not the white. The white is that color. It's something else that's going on here. And I don't understand what's, what it is. Okay. Is it because it's a wall piece? You know, it probably is. Probably should do this. There it goes. Look at that. It's one of those situations where it's got a, uh, a shade applied to it. And that shade is... I probably... It's because I went into the swatch at some point and selected a color. Or like, or like the uh, the system went to another color, so then it defaulted that. It's texture and color... Yeah, it's the texture and color of Bugs and Forge. I'd never have guessed, right? Exactly. That fixed it. That's much better. Um, I personally don't hate that white stripe up there. Um, in fact, I really like the band, the white stripes. So, you know, why not? Um, but the, um, the, the stripe is hidden on this side. Now we've got it hidden on this side. The one thing that I don't like is that's poking out right there. Um, so I would probably want to grab this column right here and drag it over to where it's... I don't like this either. This weird looking thing here. That looks odd. So I think I'm going to, yeah, slide this over a bit. And I need to fix whatever this is happening here. I did this yesterday, I think, by accident. Let's see. There we go. Much better. Well, that's still kind of visible right there. Let's see. Stupid fracture event tomorrow. Oh, yeah. The Yeah, this fracture was not as appealing to me, uh, even remotely. Like, literally every other fracture was more appealing to me than this one. Um, which is funny because, like... This fracture is, like, arguably the most grounded in Halo lore, because it's like, oh yeah, the created built, you know, this and this and this, yada yada, you know, did this thing with the other Spartans, you know, made their own Spartans, and yada yada yada, robot Spartans, it's like, that's arguably more grounded in cur at least current uh, Halo lore. See, it's hidden over here completely, so my, my column over there was very wrong, and I don't know how that happened, because now this amount and that amount are actually correct that they're exposed on those curves so somehow this one got shifted over or they were both wrong and I fixed these you know afterward but forgot to come over and fix this one they might have all been wrong see the thought of getting run over by a two-ton truck is more appealing than fractures I mean some of them are really cool um, I feel like they need to do a better job of um, putting flavor to them like they need a writer uh, I realize there's a writer's strike right now, but they need a proper writer to come in and like, like they have writers, but the writers are like either not allowed to touch the lore, so they're like giving them trouble, or there's just some, or there's something else going on because like, like the fracture event was kind of cool. I was enjoying the choose your own adventure thing, and into a way, in a you know, in a way, it was okay, but I don't think it was that good the way it was done. You know what I mean? I don't know. I feel like it could have been done better. Let me see. Okay. So I talked about extending one of these so that the wall so the walkway and the wall are all like the same. What does this look like over here? Okay, yeah, this this bulkhead coming down to there. I could theoretically just make it line up here. That shouldn't be too big of a deal. Um and then having that, that'll make that one feel more like a window because it won't have the exact same, almost the same exact, you know, threshold there. Um, but yeah, what I was trying to say was that basically, okay, you've got to make some kind of interesting storyline, interesting characters, interesting stakes in these fractures or else we're not going to want to revisit them later, you know what I mean? And the more interesting it is, the more likely players are going to want to dress as that costume, you know what I mean? It's like, I don't know, it's... It, 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 if they, um, like the World War II one was a huge missed opportunity, I think, to make something especially cool. Okay. That would be to there. And if I delete this bulkhead, then we've got that. And that means I don't want to line anything up as far as thickness is concerned. 
and it looks basically the same. And then what I can do is turn this, because I'm putting everything else on top of this, this just needs to be a backdrop that is minimal, minimal impact on the overall visual, you know what I mean? Uh, I may have to add something to the bottom as like a frame piece to like make it look especially cool, but then the wall itself is just minimal. Uh, because, let's see, if we go too, too hard on every single wall in here, we're gonna run out of, uh, run out of, uh, simulation memory. And I don't know if that's a good idea. We need to make tasteful decisions that don't, that are, that are less expensive. Um, now, what am I looking for here? The hex? UNSC, is it hex wall, or, let's see, uh, what was it called? Metal panel unit. I, I probably went right past it. Metal hex. That's it. There's metal in there. That's why I missed it. Let's see. Okay, now we gotta set it to roughness zero. And source value off to make sure that doesn't mess it up at all. And then zero there. And then go pure white. And now we've got it matching the rest of the room. Now, I might go ahead and I think this one is set to, this one's not set to, uh, yeah, this one's set to carapace, not metal hex. The walls are supposed to be metal hex, and I forgot about that. Let's see. Uh, UNSC, metal, where, I'm sure it's here somewhere. Oh, oh no, I wasn't, I had gone down all the way. Metal hex, there we go. Yeah, selling my indie Blu-ray soon. Oh yeah? Nice. Indie is in like indie films that you got on, that you got on Blu-rays or in, oh Indiana Jones I'm done Indiana Jones yes yeah 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 finished watching them basically let's see. Or was it the pack that you got that did you actually go ahead with that I forget now. Did you go ahead with that pack that you were gonna get that was like Indiana Jones Blu-rays, except it didn't have like one of the the newest movie that's about to come into come out? Can't get into it, turn the first film off after twenty minutes. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um The uh I mean, you know, in that case we might as well discuss how problematic Indiana Jones is. Uh, did you know that the, 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 the girl in the first one that was, um, you know, an, an adult, like a college student, was gonna be like 13 or something like that? The one he's like romancing at the beginning, his student, was gonna be like 13 in the original script? And they changed that? Yeah. They were like, yeah, this is probably a bad idea. There's something to that effect. I don't know the exact specifics anymore. But if you look it up, you can find it. She was uh, gonna be very underage. Let's see. Um, if I'm gonna go with these, let's go with... Knock off Halo music again. This is a knockoff. This is actual Halo music. It's official, real Halo music from Halo Legends. Would you rather I go with something else? I can go back up to the actual, real Halo music. The real, real Halo music. We can go with Halo 3, for example. And that would sound a little bit better, if not significantly. I don't count it because it's not from the game. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Let's see. Oh yeah, I was gonna... Let's see. I should probably do this at some point. Um, whenever uh, Ripshade sees the stream. Let's see. I need him to help me decide. And maybe you could help me decide too, Aaron. Whenever I did this, I think no one was in chat that day because it was just a day. It was just a, a dry day. Um, so I had these lights originally. I think they look pretty cool. They frame this pretty nicely. They get a little bit clippy over here, and I'll have to fix that and figure out how I'm going to fix it. Um, you know, whenever I do that. Um, 
I can I can make this thinner because did I accidentally shift this thing? I did. At the very beginning of the stream today, I accidentally selected this and I didn't think it broke anything, but it apparently got shifted. Anyway, I can fix that in a minute. The point is, is that what I what I was wondering was just sounds like Star Wars. Yeah, it kind of sounds like halfway. Yeah, between the two. Like yeah, but anyway, so these lights are cool. What I was wondering is if I shouldn't make something a little bit more like this. It would be more expensive because there'd be more objects involved. Um, but I feel like it looks more UNSC, I guess, and a little bit more uh, sci-fi. Whereas these feel like you know World War II Russia, like the ones that are found on Rat um, Rat Net Rat's Nest. Um, in Halo 3, which is an old bunker, outdated tech. Um, but anyway, I've got two options. This one feels very, um, what is that word? I had it. I've got a tab over here that says it, so I wouldn't have to forget it. Uh, brutalist. This one feels to me more brutalist because it's just sharp corners and large fin, you know what I mean? This one feels a little more techy and has a bit more detail on it. Um, so then, and then this one feels like really old-fashioned. Now this is an old base they're rebuilding, but it's not World War II old. It's definitely a different style. Doesn't match. Um, so I'm wondering which one I should go with. Like, like the rest of this building is very, like, angular, brutalist, and, uh, and, and sort of like, um, I don't know like a solid kind of feel, whereas that feels like this over here feels very weak and flimsy, I guess. So now what I've got going on here as far as playability goes is you can actually drop down onto these and it brings you out of the kill zone, the kill bounce. So if you ran up through here, right, if you're up here, let me let that timer restart itself a little bit. If you're up here and you want to run through, you can come through and get here and then use it as a sort of perch but you've got like nowhere to go except for to drop down or to jump back up and try to run to safety. You know what I mean? So if someone's shooting at you, you're kind of stuck there. So it's a little cool, it's a cool little like, you know, perch sort of skill point you can hide on um, that's pretty useful. These, on the other hand, at the same height, this block is at the same height, so on this one you have to, you can get on it. Wait. Yeah, yeah, I thought you had to crouch on this one. Oh, that's right, I had to move it down anyway. I moved it down to make it look better because it looks better whenever it's lined up with this piece to sort of look like part of it. Um, whereas over here, um, this piece probably could move up actually to like there. Um, this piece over here is also you know low enough that you could perch on it. It used to be whenever this one was up higher, it was like this height, you know, it was all the way up to the top. And whenever you stood on it, you, you could hot, you could get there. It would be a good perch, but you had to crouch. So basically, I just need to decide which of these looks the coolest. So I'll, I'll number them so it's easier for you to say which one you think is the coolest. Old Fashioned is one, uh, Brutalist is two, and, uh, you know, Techie is three. So, yeah. Just let me know what you think is the, the coolest for the map. Or, or do you think would be the cool would, would be the coolest for the map, at least. Uh, if I went ahead to use it. Like this one, in, for example. Um, I, I'm kind of leaning techy because of the area it, it, it's located in, the brutalist sort of triangle with that shield, like like roof above it, won't feel as brutalist anyway because there's like, it's like you're covering up the pointedness. Well, it seems 90% of the architecture on here is number three. Yeah, I was kind of thinking the same thing. The brutalist is really cool here, free floating. But over here, whenever this thing is above it, it might feel like it's kind of blocking it off and end up feeling like like a sheathed sword, whereas Brutalist really wants to be really scary, so they'd want a real full-blown exposed blade kind of feel to it. You see what I mean? Like, the fact that it's pointy is what I mean. It's like a it's like a blade, but it's like a sheathed blade over here if because it'll have this thing, this like roof right above it. So I think that maybe, yeah, the tech might be the best way to go. This one here. Um... Which still needs to be aligned properly. You might notice that the light is not centered and stuff like that. I just threw it together for, for a thing. So I, I'm leaning that way too. I think you, you are too. So I think the last thing to do would just be wait for Rip Shade to see what he thinks. Get his uh, get his vote in there and see what we uh, you know what I mean. Then we'll have uh, we'll have three opinions on it, and that's usually you know three eyes are better than you know two, 
three eyes are better than one. But, uh, yeah. Let's see. I think we, uh, this bulkhead, like I said, needs some kind of frame piece at the bottom. It's very plain looking. Um, now that it's got that, and since I raised it up, I have room to really play with to put something in there. Now I thought about doing something like this involving the frame, and we'll see if this looks at all any good. Because the top of this has a, you know, paneled look to it with some curvature. So if we clip it through, we can make like a sort of like flat panel with the black border kind of effect on it. And then we also would, for free, get ourselves some framework around the uh, inside of that. So this kind of repeated frame would be in there. Plus we would get this bulkhead. So let's kind of, let's see what this looks like. So yeah, I think you're, I, I think I'm, I'm leaning toward three as well. I was kind of hoping to get the curvature of the corners in there so it looks a little bit more interesting. So I'm gonna do that. Yeah, it's very simple and subtle, but it plays a big part in it. And then we would want to make this a little bit thicker. Ah, we're getting the frame, the actual uh, shelves to appear now. That may not be what we want, I don't know. Let's see. Hmm. It may be too simple, but... Or rather, it may be that I need to make it wider. So the way it is right now, it's not working on this side. It's working fine on the other side, but not on this side. There we go. Now the black line is sort of like framing the door. And we've got black line there, and there, and it gives us sort of like, um, you know, a threshold, an archway, sort of, so to speak. Not a, um, not a full-blown door frame, because there's not a, not, maybe probably not a door seal here, given that there's also nothing on this window. Because this is where this door seal is, and there, and then down here, yeah. Looks good, I think. At least temporarily. And we will see if I need to add anything. But also with all of these, um, all these, you know, lines on our walls, this wall now looks naked right here. So I think we need to go ahead and do this. One of these days, I am going to adjust my music <laughs> before the stream starts, and we'll be ready to get ready to roll. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't do that today. Um, let's see. And I know that's bothering the hell out of you, Aaron. Because <laughs> it's got that music again. Let's see. So just to make sure I do it right whenever I get to it. Just to clarify again. I can stream whatever music I want live. But I can't upload whatever music I want onto YouTube. Is this correct? Like, that's basically the way it works, right? Or would it be, or is it that I would get, like, once I'm monetized here, am I still allowed to do that, actually? I know I keep asking, like, the same question. So I've got those cross lines, like here, and I lined these up with the way that the, uh, the diamonds are, are situated, but I didn't do that over here. Let's see, you can play whatever you want live, but when you watch the VOD back, it won't have any music at all playing. Okay. Gotcha. And if I do that, it shouldn't show up in my recording, right? Because it's feeding to Twitch. It, it's feeding to only the Twitch um, thing, so that my recording that's local won't have the music at all. It won't have any music. And then whenever I upload to YouTube, I just have to add music, I guess? That's actually adding a lot of work. But yeah, um, I'll have to like make like a... A playlist of music that is a video that I can just slap whatever video I want into that so I already have all the audio set up every single time otherwise it's gonna take forever but to set it up on YouTube let's see um, let's see I don't like the way that this is clipping into that personally and I think what I'm gonna do is turn on the newly repaired Honestly, a single line somewhere might be cool, but I think it's, uh, 
in this particular room, it would be out of place to do that at this point. Because everything else has these uh, sort of X shape on the wall. Let me know if there's too much X shape, rip shade especially, because since that would be um, one of your, since it, since it was originally your map, if I'm getting too much, since I've reused that same piece here, there, there, both of those, there, uh, and that might be it for that piece, yeah. And then I've got a different kind of piece here, 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 and here. Uh, but it's all X's, so. Let's see, I wouldn't add music on the YouTube upload, that's a waste of time. It would be a waste of time, but it also could be the, uh, you know, something that's actually holding back the YouTube videos. If I don't have, um, music, then people won't watch them, and I actually do get, like, 30 views on those after the, uh, after uploading to there. So there are plenty of people who watch late, um, that just can't make it to the, uh, stream, because I stream at such a weird time for Americans. Um, it makes sense, but yeah. Makes perfect sense. <laughs> okay, so down here we were gonna go into another sort of threshold of space, but I feel like I got a lot of grays down here rather than whites, because it's supposed to feel like a maintenance area. Um, and like, uh, you know, uh, stuff like that. But to do that, I think this wall though is very visible inside here, and I might make the white go to the floor here and continue my white painted, uh, white painted concrete instead where it looks like okay they didn't you know go through the trouble of paint of making this um oh, that's the uh what oh, oh okay oh i see it just did a bug i see oh all right um there we go, now it's actually working. Um, yeah. Ooh-wee, that column's pure white now, all the way up. That wasn't what was intended. I think I, mean, I meant to uh, have a separate piece there. But, uh, yeah, I've got another piece of concrete up here that I can, yeah. Oh no, it scaled the wrong direction. Uh didn't I didn't test it first I usually let me make sure that snaps to something so it doesn't uh, it was probably a 50 if I had to guess uh, I'll just go to 48 that's fine let's see I wouldn't oh yeah I thought I, th I could have sworn it just popped up with something new there okay um, yeah so I don't know if you noticed but I actually fixed I got the um, <laughs> I got the uh, thing fixed to where you can actually see your uh, like like chat messages properly on stream again from last stream it wasn't working if you recall let's see we're gonna go to yep that'll work that's pretty well flat and then we'll go to this piece oh I see I see that piece was poking out differently okay well that's fine, because what we're going to do is increase our Y amount, probably by four. It's probably going to end up being an additional four, yeah. It's not quite, actually. A little more than four. I kind of like this column jutting out a bit. I might um, intentionally make this wall have this column jut out just a bit and see if it lines up down here, because that's, that's the main thing, is if it lines up down there. Because it'll look like a good like structural support. And actually, you know what? You know what I'm going to do? I think I'm going to replace this wall with something else. With a different piece. So. Oh yeah, you know this? Cool. 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 Okay, so you can't see the um, the paint that's on that wall. The little decal anymore because it's buried. Um, and it would be the Y that would bring that back. But what I just realized, which might be really cool, is... Um, I kind of, I don't know what I'm going to do exactly with this room yet, it might still be the, the uh, a continuation of sort of techie stuff, but for this area to be the same here as it's going to be on the other side so that we have that skill jump be balanced and the same, um, then I need to keep the shape, and if they're rebuilding everything, then I don't know if it's a good idea to have that here yet. What I was thinking instead was... What if we make it to where it looks like they're just starting to work in here on, like, replacing panels and stuff like that? I'm not entirely certain how I'm going to pull that off just yet, 
but like something like there there are panels some panels on some of the walls, but those panels actually come to an end. Like like uh, I wish I could do these diamond plated panels as an actual object. Like uh, there if there was an object that was a hexagon that had this as its surface on one side. So I probably can use to an extent and actually uh who was it who suggested this in comments on my YouTube videos? I think it was okay, this is weird. Everything's black. Is that because of the room? Yeah, that's the room. Okay, that's the lighting of that room. Uh no, I think it was Michael in uh on YouTube chat uh, YouTube comments, I think if I'm not mistaken, who suggested that I go and use Forerunner hexes, right? Like Forerunner hex pillars. And then flatten them so that I have my hex shape and actually panel hexes on the walls in certain areas. And I, at first, was like, yeah, that sounds like a great idea. I don't know if it's going to work, but that sounds like a cool idea. But I don't know where to use it, you know? Like, I'm not sure where I'm going to use it since I've already got all this stuff sort of like set up here. And then I just realized that this would be where to use it. It would probably be like, if I can, you know, make this feel correct as like a continuation of that kind of tech. Maybe not this one, but a lot of the, some of these have good repeating patterns on them. What's this flashing light from? Oh, it's from down there. Interesting. I might have to change the, the, the distance of that so it doesn't come all the way in here and bounce off people and stuff like that. But what I, uh, what I was thinking was, if I equip it with that same hex texture, will it feel like a panel of the stuff? You know what I mean? UNSC, metal hex, and different ones, different, um, wow, that actually looks really cool. Oh, man. That looks really freaking cool. <laughs> now I feel like some of these flat walls are too plain and that I should absolutely like decorate them with these oh my god that's so cool looking I mean it's not even finished like I haven't even like okay source value off roughness zero um, trim concrete what? no we'll do a UNSC trim but we're gonna set it to black, so we have our black lines. And then, let's see, okay, that's the outline there. Heck, we could try, let's try a missive. Did I just like, go with your suggestion, suggestion and then immediately find out that it's, it makes a really cool setup? Yes, I believe I did. Um, okay, this is set to black still, because I just set it to black. Let's go to something more. How is this not actually being emissive? That's really weird. Okay, hold on. I think I need to come down here. Foil. Okay, now it's, uh... Nope. Oh, is it emissive? Is that glowing? I don't know. I know this metal hex isn't white yet. Um, but I also want to make sure it's not shifting its color, so I'm going to set that to zero and then go back to it being white. Okay, now what is it doing? None of this makes any sense. Thanks a lot. Okay, now it's much better. Um, but yeah, okay, let's see. On my screen, that's so small, those lines are so subtle, that you can see it start getting really, like, pixelated as you get farther away. You see what I mean? But on people with higher graphics, it would look much better. Is it worth it? Because people who have lower graphics like me are not going to see it as pretty. But boy, like, it looks real good, you know? So I'm, I'm, I don't know. Loss of detail. Yeah, exactly. It's losing all of that. Like, up close, this is perfect. This is exactly what we want. You know what I mean? But farther away, is it, it might be losing too much. Let's try, try the other hexes, though, because that's the biggest hex there is. And some of these other ones might maintain more detail. Uh, I know that some of them are actually horribly, horribly broken. Where they just don't 
scale correctly, they start warping like a kaleidoscope with the, uh, everything on this surface here starts, like, warping and cutting and breaking and stuff like that, because they, like, they did, like, it might be this one, actually. You can see how this area is a separate texture from this area, and it's, like, continuing around that, you know, threshold. So whenever you scale it, let's see if this is it. Whenever you scale it, yeah, it warps each one of them separately. Which, in a way, it's cool, because you can theoretically scale it to find, like, a kaleidoscope, some really cool, you know, geometric shape. Especially if you have the right kind of texture on there. Whereas this one is a little bit more harder to find the right spot. There are probably some sweet spots in here where things line up and you can make some really cool shapes. Like this almost does. It's almost like a snowflake kind of thing. But unfortunately, since we're trying to use these end caps as our texture, that's not that one's not gonna work. And also unfortunately I hit B twice earlier, so I lost the location I was in this folder. <clears throat> That one appears to be the same. I believe one of these is not that, and I, I found it and used it in my other map. Yeah. This one? No, this one doesn't line up either, does it? On the uh, the one I'm making with Clint, I had found one that looked... At least it looked good at the scale that I was placing it. Oh, ruins all the line work. Yeah, it's like when you use noise reduction on anime. Ruins all the line work. Yeah, exactly. Here we go. Wait, no? Right there, there's your tail, right there. This one is also collide gonna kaleidoscope. Okay, uh... Oh jeez, I did it again. I gotta delete down, delete. Oh jeez, stop it! Delete down, I don't want to lose my place in the folder, and sometimes you can do that very easily by doing the wrong thing. This one is also, it looks like, the same exact way. Did they do all of them? No, they didn't, this one's different. Yes! This one scales properly. Okay, so this one is like the large one. It will actually keep it. By the way, in case anyone's wondering, that's hex. Forerunner hex pillar, pillar 32 by 96 is another one that actually scales the texture on the end cap properly to where you can keep using it. Now, it's a little bit simpler than that one. I feel like it's not, it may not be exactly what we want, but we're gonna find out what it looks like once we change it, change this texture. Woke up at 1 p.m. Should be up all day today. Wow. That's crazy. Um, actually, no, I wake up at 1 p.m. all the time. Or I used to. <laughs> Lately, I've been waking up earlier, obviously. I've been waking up at like 11 or, you know, maybe sooner, depending on if, I, if I'm, if i um, you know, there. Because we're on like California time, so that's like 9 a.m. for California time. Um, but, uh, yeah... Okay, no, that, that's not helpful at all. <laughs> Come on, man. This should be... Okay, this is a trim panels. This will be the black. What is happening now? Texture's just completely gone. Oh, that's interesting. Not what I was going for, but very interesting. So on this side, we've got a hexagon in the middle. And on this side, we've got... Oh, they're both the same. Okay, cool. But the hexagon has some detail work with this pattern in the middle. Unfortunately, it appears that the texture that was on here was the Forerunner thing. So, let's see. I'll be back on my normal cycle within the next two weeks. Yeah. That's, um... It's a lot to have to track, you know what I mean? Like, for you to have to track that for your own life, I mean. Um, like, that's... No, like... Oh, I don't want to track your thing. I mean, like, it's a lot. It seems like a lot to have to track for you. You know what I mean? Okay, where's the hex? Hex A. Nope, that's not it. Like having to know this, you know what I mean, and know how you're gonna end up being able to sleep. It sounds unfortunate. It sounds very, very unpleasant, rather. Oh, weird. Look at how this is like reflection volumes are like. I'm entering into the threshold of this reflection volume, it's just turning completely white. You see that? That's so weird. Um, it's become like a mirror with this texture, and that's so weird. I'm used to it, yeah. That makes sense. You would get used to it over time. Okay, so, I don't know which one it was before, but we broke it. I need to place another one if I want to see if maybe it'll still work. 
Like if I just change the colors and keep the texture, then it'll the texture will scale with it properly. So I just need to set it to white and see how that looks. Not brushed. That's probably the one that's broken, is that brushed one. That's a special texture on swatch number two that they specifically applied and did like a BRB. Okay. They did like a special, they must have done a special application of a texture to the side. And it's, um, yeah, and this is, this is what's going on here. Okay, so if we bring this flat again and bring it down here into the white room. Why does it look so black? Forced off, I guess it's just this texture is doesn't take color as easily. I definitely set it to white and set it to 100% intensity and met, forced off the metal but added a bit, but it did zero roughness like I did with all of the white, pure white walls in this room and somehow this one didn't turn out white. It turned out super shiny and I think, oh I know what happened. This thing, no I didn't, I don't because that's definitely completely different. Okay, that chrome looks so cool. See now that's the lens of like, or this is like a uh, the mirror of like a, a satellite right here. That that looks really cool. If it was like yellow, like a NASA satellite, you know, you could um like gold. Oh man, that's so cool. And it makes such a, like you could just like you could put a bunch of these and like like duplicate them and connect them at their joints and all that stuff, and then make a a, a uh, NASA satellite. A, na a real life style like massive space satellite you know what I mean like a man <laughs> that'd be cool I'll do that at some point probably on a map because of how cool that looks but um in this case I think um well I mean I might be able to find a place for it it might be like for example we might have this in the big team battle area if we were to no not that over here if we were to like make one of make one of these out here right that's like looking up at the sky it would be like a sensor I'll just leave that out there for now because it's only three objects it's not gonna hurt our budget for to just have out there okay we're gonna go to the next one see what see if we can find one that has the uh, texture actually sustain itself this one is not gonna do it we're gonna scale it yep kaleidoscoped this one might actually and it might be more about the fact that it has cutouts on the side right there and right there that I could layer these this might be exactly what we need. This might be precisely what we need. Let's go down here and uh, set up with a texture change. Let's go with the um, the UNSC hex to see down there, to put down there on the walls as our paneling of the hex wall. Metal hex, oop, that's the side walls of it. Gotta do this one, nope, that's trim. Metal simple, that's it, Forerunner. Okay, it might I don't think it's kaleidoscoping on this one. I think it actually is a very nicely placed one. UNSC metal hex. There we go. And we'll see it if it, how it lines up. At this scale, it does not line up well. But we can find a good scale where it does line up pretty decently. And then use it like... This is close, I would say. Like, the way that these lines are lining up to frame around that cutout, the side... It, almost has the point to go into the cutout to where like you could theoretically envision these sort of like connecting together um, I'm gonna come down here and see what they look like in the room and then oh also I'll check the other side because the other side might scale slightly different nope it's the same okay howdy how's it going welcome to the stream um, I am uh, I'm making a map based on one made by someone named Ripshade and as you can see, I'm doing the art. He uh, he did the the layout, and uh, he's been in the game since like Halo Five. He was making maps uh, that were really popular, and he had like a big old stream going on back then. And uh, and then, uh, but he was on a different platform, and they that platform closed down. So this is uh yeah, it's a bunch of cool stuff. Um, so I was thinking, I'm trying to make it to where these panels seem like they go continue out this way. You know, and uh, hold on, let me line this up, snap it. Like if these inner wall panels with the hex continue out this way, but they're only partially constructed out here, it'll feel like they're slowly rebuilding the base from whenever the flood hit, you know? Which is uh, 
guess I could uh, show that since you're here, since you're new to the uh, chat. This is uh, the start. I haven't even already this room, really. I just started. This is more of like a proof of concept over here of what it might look like. Whenever we've got wrecked walls with flood coming out of them and all that kind of stuff. Like high charity, but human. Um, and then, uh, yeah, and the red emergency lights, that sort of thing. This, this, uh, these plant life are already, like, practically finalized, but the rest of the room isn't. Uh, and this area is being redone. New, shiny, you know, this is probably not going to be here. Um, but new, shiny, uh, fancy, uh, you know, we call it, uh, scientist quarters. It used to be a UNSC base. I'm thinking that they might even be being replaced by, like, there are UNSC stationed here and Spartan stationed here, but there are mostly scientists here. But yeah, no, I like this. It's like the room out there is flooding out into this room. It's like they're still building it. I'm going to put some scaffolding out here. Who again? Looks cool. Oh, uh, his name was uh, Ripshade. Ripshade. Um, and I will, yeah, just to Ripshade, just to spell it out. Or so you can see what his name looked like. Yeah, <laughs> that's how he, that's how he does his gamer tag and stuff like that. I think it's his gamer. Yeah, his gamer tag's the same, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but that's his. Uh, yeah, that's what he is on uh, on everything. Um, and uh, yeah, so you might you, you may have known him from Halo Five if you look, if you were looking at the maps back then. But yeah, okay, cool. That is gonna scale over there. I I was just testing that because the scale on some objects goes the opposite direction for the floor pieces especially. This one also needs to go that way. And then this one, I think, has the gap over here. Oh, wait. Oh, jeez. They're both gapped over here. Oh, okay. Well, we'll figure that out. Um, let's see. Go that way, and then we will snap it to there. And then snap it to there. Is this one okay now, over here? Or does this need to go even further now? Looks like it needs, needs to go even further. There we go. This piece looks really, really cool up front, but loses it further away. So if I had a much larger wall, I could have used this and scaled it up to the right size. Looks really cool. I might try to incorporate this into... See, I'm not familiar with creators myself. Yeah. He's, um... Uh, I wasn't either until, you know, Halo Infinite, and that's mainly because they now have credits, and you can go talk to them on Twitter, and, like, all sorts of stuff, so it's so much easier to, like, actually keep track of who's making maps so you can like actually follow them easier and that's really cool like um unique forges and uh you know uh infinite forges sorry unique and then infinite forges i'm combining the two names um and then there's uh, uh well there's aaron who comes in my chat all the time he does a lot of the uh, natural art on people's maps and stuff like that for them just started to get social and infinite yeah it's uh it feels like the game itself isn't equipped to be more social, but because of the way the community is right now, it feels to me like it's more social. To be to be a lot more like how the community was more social back with like Halo 3. Uh, but that's just maybe my imagination. Anyway, I'm just like moving that thing around. <laughs> I need to move on from that little weird piece. This looks perfect. I like this a lot. This sort of like it's stretching out and it's coming this way. And then it looks like... It, it's communicating through the story design, or through the level design, the sort of story that we have going on here, where they're rebuilding the base. I don't like this, how that's layered on there, but um, I think that's going to have to be that I need to move these pieces further into the wall, and then move the wall it back so you can still see them, because I think they're going to. It's going to be like this. Watch. See, well, the support for forge maps definitely is better in Infinite for sure. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, I love the, um, I just love the, all of the tools they have. Oh, jeez, it didn't select all those. I, I pressed select on them. I don't know why. Um, like, like all the things that they can do with the scaling and stuff like that is amazing. It makes significantly better maps. I'm eventually going to make campaign maps. Whenever they add in, uh, AI, campaign AI, I'm 100% going to start making, uh, my own campaign. Um... That's gonna be about, uh, you know, uh, George, the uh, the Spartan George. Um, let's see. Let's tick that back one click. That's good enough. That's perfect. I liked that little lip there. Let's see. Getting maps into matchmaking and recommended. Three four three is doing better with getting people's stuff out there for sure. Yeah, and like no one's ever like I don't think anyone's ever had their maps put into into a uh, multiplayer like this, right? Unless I'm wrong, pretty sure, like, no one... They, they've never done this before, right? 
Um, like, not even Bungie. I just realized that that line is so much thinner than this line that it kind of looks a little weird. It's not 100% centered. I might need to adjust this one. Which would mean I need to adjust this one. And maybe I'll worry about that later. <laughs> For now, I'll just build the room because it doesn't look too bad that way. And we need more of it built. There's a contest, by the way. We're trying to beat the uh, deadline on a contest right now. Um, this piece looks a little bit... Well, actually, the, the, the hex going around the corner that way is pretty cool. I kind of like that. This is 4v4. Yes, this is going to be 4v4 for the Forge Hub Community Contest. But what I'm going to do is, and this is this is the plan of why I'm keeping the simulation memory uh, somewhat, you know, empty, somewhat low, uh, is... What is this? An emissive object? I must have just made that one day. Anyway, uh, <laughs> so um, basically... Uh, We've got this big, this map that's 4v4 in the middle, right? And then we've got this area out here, right? Uh, whenever you have up to f eight players, it's going to be 4v4. As soon as you hit, as soon as you have, if you're like in a custom game browser, for example, and you set your maximum player to 24, people can join until there's 24 players. Well, whenever it's at 4v4, you know, like eight players, it's going to be a 4v4 map, and it's going to stay exactly as it is. As soon as you hit nine players, this door is going to open on each side and open up to the outside, the outdoor. Um, this floor panel, which is a, a trap door basically, is gonna come down. Um, and uh, let's see, the... We were gonna have ductwork in here that drops down and we might rebuild that, but I actually forgot to... We were gonna put it, that's right, we were gonna move it to over here to be like out, off to the side of these. There's a gravel lift that goes up here. Um, and a bunch of other stuff like that, um, these little servers are going to open and there's going to be a drop down in the middle that goes down to this forerunner artifact that um, they are uh, oh boy I forgot that you can't undo after you go out of yeah, that you go into, go into Spartan mode I gotta snap this back over there anyway the point is that yeah a bunch of stuff is going to open um, the elevator is going to start working this elevator is going to turn on and it's going to start going from floor to floor um, kind of like the one in um Ivory Tower, uh, back in the day, and uh, all of this is going to happen, you know, to make it to where it's now a big team battle map. So for now, it's, so at first it's going to be four v four, and then it's going to slowly shift itself into a big team. It's going to transform into a big team battle map, so that whenever you want to play on custom game browser, you can just load this map up, and it'll scale with you. So the map gets bigger when it exceeds eight players. Exactly. So theoretically, if you were trying to build up a group of people who want to like party up and then go on to other maps. Like if you want to play big team battle on custom game browser, but you can't get enough people to join. Uh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> that was, and uh, then basically what's going to happen is uh, like, okay, you start the, your match and you got it at 4v4. Everyone's joining into play and they can play on a low, smaller map. As soon as you get above that, it becomes big team battle. You can get to a point where you can say, hey, everyone, we've played this map like four times in a row because we were just building up players. Now I want to switch over to other big team battle maps, and then they say yes. So you, you'd like, once Custom Game Browser allows you to name your custom game uh, match, like you can in, um, in uh, you know, Halo, uh, or Master Chief Collection. In Master Chief Collection you can. Uh, it's going to be like, you know, you can name it, and then you can name it Big Team Battle, and then people will join for Big Team Battle, they'll be in this map, it'll scale with them, and then they can switch over to other Big Team Battle maps once they have a group that all want to play Big Team Battle. So it'll help the community be able to, like, actually can curate what they want to do in the uh, custom game browser, and hopefully just, in general, just be a really fun map to uh, be able to play on and watch it scale with you and all that kind of stuff. So, I'm... Um, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, <laughs> I'm hoping that it's going to turn out to be as good as I as good as I want it to be. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> and uh, if it doesn't work, then we will just have made a cool map, and that's fine. That's that's perfectly awesome. Okay, I made this too low. Whenever I was messing around with these, I apparently scaled it and broke it. Okay, I was going to replace it with a different piece anyway, so that's fine. What I was thinking about doing was uh, using, instead of just a regular block, switching to the Oh, Discord. I love ambitious ideas and Discord. Okay, I'll check Discord. Oh, I've got it on random, don't I? Whenever I went up and switched to, um... Aaron, whenever I went to switch to, like, Halo 3 music, and it randomly went around and started selecting other stuff, so... 
We can deal with this. Let's see. That's not Discord. That is Steam. What did you send me? Let's see. Um, crematorium? McCrispy? <laughs> what is this? So we're going to do a slight... A slight break from what I was from the work for a second to see what all this nonsense is. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 well placed, McDonald's. Thank you. That's that's a good idea. And then what is this? Yorkshire slang. It's making me gib. It's making me gib. Uh can I catch a quid? Only got council pop sup. Yeah, these are very thick. Uh, <laughs> let's see. I was checking out some uh, treadstone maps the other day. Really good map so far. Yeah, and th they did a great job. Other people have already submitted a bunch of really great ones for the uh, Forge Hub contest. We don't necessarily think we're we, like we, uh, this map itself. Uh, by the way, the the, the blockout is playable. Um, uh, Rip Shade has published the blockout, so you could actually go and pl play the blockout and f get a feel for how the map's flow is going to be. There's some really cool ideas that we've added since. Um, one in particular that's a big idea that alters a lot. Um, that was uh, that was uh, that I actually added because I was I loved his geometry he had up here. He didn't have the building built on it yet, but he had the way this like hole was like an octagon and stuff like that. And I loved it in the slope that was right here. I loved it so much that I put a door here and a platform up here. So if you grapple shot or hook shot, or uh, what do you call it, repulsor yourself up here, then you can get access to this area, which will have this countdown timer to your death. And you can do things like get on this little perch, or while you're up here, go through this little hologram doorway. The door, the uh, it's kind of like, these doors are kind of like on uh, Anchor 9 in Halo Reach. They had the uh, energy barriers. Um, I understand all of these because it's how I talk. Oh, really? That's awesome. <laughs> I, uh, I understand a lot of the, uh, the southern ones, and, like, uh, like, super... There's, I understand a lot of the American ones, but I don't understand a lot of the, uh, the, the British ones and, like, European ones in general. But, yeah. But, basically, yeah, it's gonna be, like, a fast travel area. You can't stay up here long, but you can come in here and then attack this base from above. You know what I mean? Like, that kind of thing. Um, we're gonna have a bunch of stuff like that. You can also go through this door, which will lead through to this door, and you can see the countdown timer's really tight. And you're gonna have to, you know, so it's almost like there's a level, yeah, it's very vertical. It's, um, it's, there's a, there's the level, I forget what it's called, that's in, um, Halo Reach, where it's, it's from Long Night of Solace, the campaign mission. That's the, uh, it's the cup Corvette, and you can, like, grab lift up and, like, go above the map with the, inside the, uh, you know, up in space, and there's no atmosphere, so you have a countdown before it kills you. But then, like, it's also low gravity, so you can choose where you're going to fall back into the map as you slowly adjust and stuff like that. And it's really cool. Well, this is kind of like that without having the zero gravity, you know? Without having the low gravity. Um, and it's a little bit more extensive, because you're not just falling into the middle of the map and then finding where you're going to land. You've got a route here to come down here. You could even theoretically stand up here for a second or two before you actually, and, like, start getting your headshots off of somebody before you jump down and get yourself an advantage on the shooting, you know? You could hop down here, where you could either land up on this platform that's up here, or hop down here, or even hop down straight down to the bottom, you know, and be down here. Um, you can come up here and, like, sprint off and jump off this to land up here. You could uh, hop down, like we said, to the, to the light. So it ended up, as I was slowly arting it out, that we were slowly finding all these different routes to add to it, which was really cool. But, um... And that basically just, like, the map itself is so cool, and I love every single room, that adding the ability to access each room through an additional, like, weird and dangerous route actually just really added to it in a way that was just, like, it's, like, it's, like, this solid, awesome map, and then we just added one more floor above it that just allowed it, that just, like, reflected down on the whole thing, and like a multiplier rather than a, um, you know what I mean, rather than an addition, because it just, it... It just multiplied how cool the rest of it. Like, if it was a crappy map, that would be a cool idea, but it wouldn't work out too well, you know what I mean? But it ended up being such a good- it was such a good map that it ended up making it to where we've got this, like, you know, straight shot, you know? And by the way, Ripshade, I didn't know him until he messaged me about this map. I was like, hey, would you mind arting my map? You know, because he'd see my other streams. And then, uh, and I was like, 
I, I was like, sure, let me play it first, and then I'll let you know. I played it, and it's so much fun. It's such a good map. It feels like a Halo 2 map. Uh, even though it's the high ground, the timer forces you to move so you so you on radar as well. Balances out for the most part. Exactly. Like everyone's gonna know you're up there and you're moving really fast because you ha you can't sneak. You could maybe make it around here and like get a drop down there by sneaking or down there. Or you might be able to sneak into like actually let's do that. Let's time that. I've never timed that before. Let's try sneaking through. Oh, I just sprinted. Hold on. <laughs> okay. So you could sneak to here. I don't think you could make it all the way over here. Yeah, no, I don't think I would have made it even if I... Oh, I did! I barely made it. Okay, you could sneak, but you would have just that much time. And I, can we set the timer for that also, by the way? I'm actually not certain. It's, I think this kill volume? I think maybe in the settings, there's a setting to say how much time they have. Uh... Time, despawn timer is off, no, boundary, gameplay labels, yeah, I don't think you can set the timer, which is kind of lame, actually, soft kill zones would be really cool if we could, if we could set the timer ourselves, but yeah, oh, discord again, okay, oh, another one, oh, it's a translation, look at that, uh, right, I'm right, I'm okay, uh, the right, you're okay, uh, dead right, good, Cool, cool. So like they do translate. I make I understand why they're like that. They just through a thick through through a thick accent as well. That's cool. Okay, well Bart Wright, I'm not sure close enough. I'm not sure what Bart is short is like a accented version of a word for. That one's a little bit you know. Right laugh is clearly, you know, a laugh, you know, you're having a laugh. Uh but yeah. <laughs> so yeah, anyway. Uh, so basically, yeah. So we got a bunch of really cool things going on. It's gonna scale with the player base. You've got that going on with that map. I think, oh, by the way, I think uh, what we're gonna do is actually that area, this was gonna, de we're gonna delete the, I think you can set this to dynamic. Yeah, it's always dynamic. Then we're gonna delete this kill volume and make it a full playable space during the big team battle mode. So you're gonna be able to go in here. There's gonna be a lot more detail in it too. Um, and you're gonna be able to go through this door, which is gonna open into a building that this little block is representing. And that's gonna be a staircase and some doors to what looks like barracks rooms. And the barracks rooms doors are all gonna be locked. But basically, it's gonna come down and have- and come to this door here. So this door is gonna link with a staircase up to this door, effectively. And inside there, there's gonna be like a little balcony. It's just gonna be a really basic kind of room because we can't- we won't have too much budget at that point. Um, but yeah, we're, we're very much running out of budget, and the big team battle area is getting weaker and weaker by the day as I slowly art this out, so we're gonna slowly, we might have to scale some stuff back too. Like some of the detail in here may have to get, be scaled back eventually, just to make the big team battle section work. But for the 4 chub contest, we're just trying to hit that 4v4 readied uh, map, you know, first, so it's okay if I overdo it on the art for now, and then we scale it back later to make the big team battle. Uh, the scalable map work and that will also mean we'll have two different versions of the map We could theoretically save this one off and make it like the high detail version that still exists If people just want to do a 4v4 and just want it to look a little bit cooler or something like that But yeah, I like to be in forge, but I'm just waiting for the forge bugs to be fixed. Yeah It's Bart right equals about right about that makes sense Bart is about okay. That makes sense uh, yeah, a lot of people seem to be pausing their forging, uh, because of the bugs, and I don't blame them in the slightest. Oh, cool, it's like reflecting off the air. It's telling you red base that way. That's actually kind of cool. That was an accident. Is it doing the same thing over here with any of the blue light? Unfortunately, no. I might need to find a way to put a blue light, like, right there above the doorway or up high so that it'll come down and reflect off its window and be like a blue base this way kind of thing. Um, but, oh yeah, so the storytelling ends up making the red base, blue base split very naturally because, like, emergency lights are on over here, so naturally this room is red. These are brand new lights and they're super sci-fi, Star Trek, uh, screenshot inspired. Here's our, um, our actual, here's my, my, my tab, my, my window. It's full of inspirational pieces, like brutalist buildings and space stations and stuff like that. And this image right here is the, the core image. It's from Star Trek, um the reboot, I think, whenever they had all the lens flares. Um, or it's a, someone made a CG version of a room from that. But anyway, the point is that this is sort of our inspiration, so it's got this blue shift hue to the lights. Some of the lights, the light's a lot more white, so I might end up bringing a little bit more pale blue. I think I went, maybe went a little too blue. 
But I was trying to make it look a little bit like blue base, you know, over here with their light, with their blue lights and their white walls to make those to to pick up that blue light really naturally. And then over here, where the flood is still, they haven't cleaned this area of the base yet. The flood is supposed to be all quote unquote dead. You know, it's safe to enter. It's okay. You know, Sci you know the the employees are to the low paid employees are totally w able to come in here and not get eaten by the flood. Uh, but yeah, so basically this area is going to feel very red base because of the lights and of course the red benches. Um, and the, uh, the lights in here, this is the, like, security room on this side of the base. Security. Um, that's where the ammo stored, you know, the armory. Over here, security room has been repaired and should be fully functional. I'm going to change coloring in here to match sort of this rebuilt area. And, uh, but it's got blue doors because they are not in emergency mode. So all these doors are in, are, not, are in normal energy barriers, like on Anchor 9 kind of thing. And these are all emergency doors that are saying, hey, wait, no, there's, there's a problem in here, and we're on emergency power. <clears throat> what maps do you have finished? You got a link. All I've finished so far, the main one I've finished, is called Waterworks Modern and Waterworks Classic. I'd love to check them out. Thanks. Uh, Waterworks Modern is a faithful one-to-one -one recreation of the original Waterworks. Bots work on it properly. Um, it, I even put the, the the rocket launcher. I put the the super rocket launcher on there because it's got the tracker, so you can actually track the air, the, ve the flying vehicles to match Halo 2. Um, I put it to minimum ammo because it's ridiculous. Um, oh yeah, modern yeah, Waterworks Modern is in is in recommended, uh, but for by by three four three as well. So that was really cool. I got recommended in there. Um, and, uh, stuff like that, so, that's gonna be awesome. Um, or that was, like, a really cool thing. Um, let's see, this is really mirrored and shiny, and I don't know, I don't really hate it, but, like, it's very different from all the other blacks that we have on our other walls. Yeah, see, it, I think it's metal? No? I don't know what's going on here. It should be black. Okay, well, whatever. I don't hate it. It looks like painted concrete. It looks much blacker on this side. So, yeah, I'll just keep it. Nice. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Got some, like, a, a landing pad over here. You can see I finished starting this area. Not finished, finished, but I'm almost finished starting that area. But I'm not finished. I haven't even started on this side. Um, so there's a lot of stuff I need. still need to mirror over. And this area needs to be destroyed and looking cool. I'm really hoping I have at least... Like, I'm at about 30% budget left for the Big Team Battle stuff. I might need to make an entire Big Team Battle map off of 20% budget by the end. And that's going to be tough, rough and look really goofy. But it, it, might, it might not look as cool as we would like. Um, but, yeah, I'll have to... If, I, if that's the case, I'll have to scale down everything else uh, to make that really ambitious work, you know, <laughs> plan work. Um, or scale back on everything else, not scale down on it, but yeah. So I'm trying to keep a, that. That's why you might notice I'm keeping a lot of concrete blocks out here, just regular blocks of concrete uh, out here, where I don't think it's going to get any more like detailed or replace the concrete with anything else because it feels like a good structural, you know, a good um, you know uh, military structure compound like um, feel to it out here. Now that I've got the sort of greeblies applied to it everywhere. Um, and then once we get in here, like, we've got this. I, I mostly need to focus on probably deleting some dynamic objects or turning them into non-dynamic. For example, in the official, in the one we released for the 4v4 contest, I can leave these as dynamic. And the cool thing about these is that, let's see, starting on red base, grab that camo, just turn that on for a second. Oop, thought you could clamber while activating it for some reason. Um, these are all dynamic objects so the glass breaks. Um, this is a dynamic object so you can straight up blow it up. The grenade just goes off over there, it's just gonna blow that up. These are dynamic, and this is dynamic. And basically what we might end up having to do is, for the big team battle version of the map, all these dynamic objects are significantly more expensive because they're sets of dynamic. So whenever we do make it to where it can scale up, I may have to scale that back. Oh wow, it deletes the... Once you break the monitor, it deletes the whole thing from the map? What? Okay, I, I just thought it would crack, but... And then stay there as a cracked monitor, but okay. I think that's dynamic too, yeah. Wow, that's really dynamic. I didn't notice all that stuff blows off individually. 
That's really cool. But there's a lot of dynamic stuff like that everywhere, all over the map, that we will probably have to scale back and make it not blow up. So we might have, like, we might, that's what I'm saying, we might keep the, um, a big team battle version of the map still around. Like, if one goes off there, it just blows, like, everything else. That'll break. Get these yellow lights going. This'll break. And all this stuff can just be replaced with non-dynamic versions if we decide to, uh, scale them back. We can maybe keep some of them, delete others, or turn all of them non-dynamic, and it will make all of the budget in the world that we will need to, uh, to make the big team battle if we need to. So that's my contingency plan, if there's just not enough budget to make the big team battle scalable thing. And then we'll just have two versions of the map, one that scales dynamically, um, and one that, uh, and one that's just a really cool 4v4 map. Cool aesthetic you could do for the flood cleanup area is add those, like, quarantined tarp walls you see in, like, biohazard areas. Oh, that would be cool. Oh, man. They don't have, like, anything that's translucent, so I have to, I can do tarps for sure. But, like, okay, I can't do, like, clear tarps, so, like, biohazard tarps. I'll do bio, I'll look up biohazard tarps and see what we've got. But yeah, like, tarps on top of things in general, and like the walls just being covered in tarps in some areas, and then be broken with the flood poking through in some areas, like, yeah, like FEMA, like, uh, you know, hurricanes, where your roof gets all wrecked. Um, but yeah, like, okay, hold on, biohazard tarp, tarps, I'll do military and see what we can get. Might even do sci-fi and see what pops up, because there might be some really cool inspiration for that. This is, that is a great idea. Division 2 had a bunch, and in Dead Space 2. Okay. So, they do have several textures that are literally tarp textures that just have, that have the, the, the uh, lines and the holes and the tarp uh, in like little squares, like tiles of tarp. Um, for example, as one of the things I can do on wall pieces, and then I can do actual like cloth tarps dangling off of walls or crates or something like that. Okay, hold on. We're gonna do sci-fi. Sci-fi, I don't know if that's, what? Why is that an A? That's not sci-fi. It's not hard sci-fi at all. Okay, now we're getting biohazard people instead of the tarps. Um, okay, biohazard. Um, okay, um, I'm gonna take off military, just see what sci-fi comes up. And see what comes up there. Nothing really all that great there. I am using Ecosia, which is not as good as Google. It's just a little bit worse. Um, but yeah, just because it, plant, it plants trees. Um, but let's see, okay, I'm gonna do so, Dead Space 2 Biohazard Tarps. Let's see what... That's a really cool idea, and I really hope that this will come up with literally anything from it, because I'm not gonna... I, I almost finished by Dead Space 1 and haven't finished 2 yet. This is not Biohazard 2. <laughs> You're hungry? That's usually whenever I have to get offline. That's whenever I have to go get my kids lunch. Oh, here we go. Is this Dead Space? That's not Dead Space. That is not Dead Space at all. He is not wearing any kind of suit. Try typing in building. Okay. Why has it turned? Okay. Building. Let's see if that works. Oh, but you went with the other search, because then it would have found like actual buildings that are typed over. Yeah. Here's a good example that won't let me see it. Um, like, this, like, uh, oh, you know what? Chernobyl was a good, would, would be a good example. Here's a biohazard tarp here. Um, here's some tarps built up around, like, an interstate while they were re-pouring it, probably. Like, they were doing con work, construction work in there, and they didn't want the dust to get to spread all over the city or whatever. Same here. That's a <clears throat> very similar style. Um, that would be really cool. Oh, man, you know where we should do this, too? What if we did destroyed walls inside, okay, like we were originally planning, but on the out- and had maybe a few tarps on the walls here and there, but we tarped the outside of the building. What if I put tarps dangling- like, 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 like what if we tarp wall this entire exterior of the building, and made it feel like you shouldn't go in there, and then just have some areas like this where there's no tarps, and it's just like blood pouring out of the cracks over here on the security room? But then, like, every, like have a tarp, like, oh man, as long as it doesn't just, like, mess up the, the block out, you know, the map itself, uh, then that would be really cool. As long as I can do it, it's just visuals. Having that whole area sort of tarped off, and then you go inside, and there's flood everywhere, and it's like, oh shoot. 
You know what I mean? It would tell you that the flood are not still active because someone tarped it after they infected it, you know? Like the stuff they use to get rid of bugs. Yeah, exactly. Like, like aerating a, uh, a building, yeah, or whatever they call that. Um, like, uh, bug bombing them, I guess, is usually what it's called, I guess? I don't know. But yeah. Oh man, that would be so cool. I need to... Ripshade, by the way, uh, he works while I'm streaming in the morning like this. This is morning time for me, by the way. Um, but he, and then later he watches it on YouTube because I upload them to YouTube. Um, so he'll see this, and he's gonna, he's gonna come, probably gonna jump straight into, um, into Discord and be like, Oh my god, that's such a cool idea. Or he'll let me know what he thinks about it if he has some concerns about it, uh, that, that I'm not thinking of. But yeah, I took a crack at the aesthetics in my first map with the tarped building look. Oh, really? Well, that's awesome. That's, that's a really cool idea. What is your first map? Do you, have you published it yet? Or is it, uh, are you still, were you still in, in the process and the bugs were just too much, so you, uh, paused it. Um, because I would love to go and see your map and, and maybe, uh, grab some inspiration from the work you did. Because that's, uh, that's always good. But, man. Like, just, I mean, heck, even just, okay, where, where are the tarps? There's a, there's an actual tarp dangling from things. Uh, object. I'm trying to think of where it is. It's in accents, I think. Is it in city props? Like, multiplayer city props? Or is it tarp E? Here they are. Yep, that's what it was. So, like, for example, if I put this literally just dangling from this corner, which fits exactly the right angle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it shouldn't mess up the block out. And weird little... Ooh, what the heck was that? That was really weird. I haven't had, like, a weird glitch like that in a while. Yeah, that doesn't really mess up this jump too much at all. And that would be a start, and then have, like, tarped walls under that. Like, that would just be dangling up there to give some really good tarp-looking stuff. Um, it's finished. It's called Dead End. Okay, okay. Was it also inspired by the Dead Space one? That's why you call it Dead End or something? Okay, I'm gonna look it up on Waypoint and then and bookmark it so I can take a look at it. I might just hop into it right before I leave, actually, because I was about to sign off. So, Waypoint... Um, oh, I gotta do Halo Waypoint. I always forget that the internet doesn't like Halo as much as I do. Halo Waypoint, uh, <laughs> so it doesn't immediately look for everything Halo whenever I go looking at it. Um, official site notifications, yeah, I'm gonna go with, uh, is Domicile? Wait. Yes, this is in the maps. This was a random map I must have looked up. Domicile, there we go, cool. Now I can go to Featured and, like, look for it or something like that. How do you browse, actually? Alright, I gotta do it in-game. I'm just gonna do it in-game. Yeah, I'm gonna save the map. I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna go take a look down. I'll hop into your map and look, take a look around because uh, how you pulled it off would be cool. It'll be completely different, of course. It won't be completely rip off of your map because the geometry of the building will be completely different. So the actual accomplishment, you know, the, 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 the way we do the tarps won't be exactly like the way its final product will. So if you're concerned at all about anyone copying your, your style, I don't think it'll look the same in the end. Okay, what am I looking for here? My file search, that's it. And then I look for dead end tags or keywords. I think it's keywords, right? Dead end. Okay, that did not work because I probably did something wrong. Um, right, it's dead end, right? Is it case sensitive? Uh, yeah, dead end. Just want to make sure I didn't remember, didn't somehow misremember. Dead end. Okay, then yeah, it's probably not keywords. I'm trying to think of. I'm not sure where to put it. Descended map type. Did my music just cut off right at the end of the stream here? Whenever I could have just... No, it's just that stupid one that has the dead zone in it. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, Waypoint, Waypoint uh, website is pure dog shit. Yeah, I think it's because they were still in the middle of working on it, and then they decided they were going to stop using it for a forum, and now they're still they're scrambling to re probably structure the team to figure out what they're going to do for making the website that's still going to stay up and how it's going to be built and what's going to happen. So they're moving people around and probably firing people, all sorts of stuff like that. But yeah, since you can't gamer tag search, good luck finding it, right? Okay, so tags. Um, so I made a tag that was Willforge. Um, and I believe I might switch it to Willforged. I don't know, but yeah. Anyway, I, I I don't know. But on my on mine, I was doing that and hoping that that would help people find it easier. But okay, search. 
Um, you know how I could find it? I just realized something. Can I find it through like file share by finding your account first? Oh, use Zezno tag. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's see. Add new Zezno. Cool, cool, cool. Confirm. Confirm tags. Ah! And that's without anything else set. Maybe it's. Maybe you didn't publish it? Or something? Um. Uh, maybe you thought you published it and it's not published yet or something? I don't know. Publish time frame rating, or maybe it's just that we're not finding it. Is Did I type Zezno correctly? Zezno makes me think of Shiznu. Sh Shiznu? Shizno? I forget. The thing that they do is. The, the, uh. Um, let's see. Oh, wait, you found it? Aaron found it, looks like. Oh, man, that's so much fun. Wait, I've seen, like, my, my kids played your map, I think. <laughs> my my three-year-old son loves Halo, and I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that they have played this map, because I immediately recognize the way the street is set up. So I might have, I've seen it across the room whenever they were playing it. I just need to hop into it. I, I, someone had like hosted it or something like that and they were hopping into custom games or maybe I just looked through maps or something like that and made it uh, like made it set it up for them but yes my kids have played your map for sure I recognize that that screenshot okay let me see um, oh, wait here we go I need to go to my uh, my bookmarks <laughs> okay hopefully it's in here or do I need to refresh okay, I'll hit refresh just in case since I only just added it Okay. Um, okay, okay. There are a couple other people who also made Waterworks ones that are also really cool, by the way. Um, but yeah. But mine, I know mine got, you know, uh, uh, what do you call it? Got the name? Oh, I'm trying to open it in Forge. I see. I need to open it in Custom Game so I can, uh, that's Customize. Custom Game, Create Match. This is going to be funny because I'm just going there to, fl to fly around. I'm probably still going to not worry about switching it to, uh, not search, ugh, recommend, no, no, not recommended, not, not recommended by me, bookmarks, uh, <laughs> my bookmarks are not called recommended, um, okay, server, I'm gonna leave this on Xbox Live so that people can join in if they feel like it, especially if you're, uh, in Xbox right now and you want to look around with me, but, uh, dog shit menus, yeah, no, I know, I, I just, it's possible. The scale of this game is actually enormous. A lot of games don't have this many, like, like Forge itself creates such an enormous, massive scale of what needs to be in menus and where menus need to be accessed and the different game modes. Honestly, no other game, no other first-person shooter has a forge with this many maps, uh, this detailed of a forge at all in the first place. Uh, except for, of course, they have that, and also, they don't also have the number of game modes and the number of everything else, like, it's... It, to organize this into these menus is actually ridiculous, but it's just like, yeah. Okay, might act weird without the game mode, not sure. Uh, actually, just dog shit game. Um, yeah, there's a debug ru thing running for sure. Oh man, this is really. I like your. I like the flashlight. I saw you post this on. I saw someone make it. Maybe I also watched. You know what? I think I watched. Um, Duke, did Duquesne feature your map in one of his videos? Because I think. Or maybe it was a YouTube short. Oh, you've adjusted that jump height and everything. It's a very, like, down to earth sort of like. What do you call it? Um, I'm going to go get that so that I can use it for faster travel if I need to jump up onto something. Um, is this the tarped over building? Here we go. Yeah. That looks really cool. Yeah, this is the, that's the tarps. Oh, you use that tarped object. Oh, the UNSC crates looking things. Yeah, that makes sense. Since yours is supposed to look like a real world one, you had to do the paneling, and you were doing, you know, like that. But since I have to keep my budget low, I might scale one up. Not literally to the, the whole building in mine. But I might scale mine up and use, like, a couple of large versions of that if I do the same thing. But that's a really good idea. Oh, cool. I like your door. That's really cool. 
So you also have like the, okay, it's tarped over. I don't want it to look goofy. I've got to have a little bit of interior space. So you can see that this is supposed to be a building that's tarped over, right? So then you did the glass door so you can see into there. And that makes a heck of a lot of sense. That's a great idea. Since mine is a part of the map and traversable, I'll be able to get the same thing and uh, without having to think about it. But that, but yeah, you had you thought about it, and you seem to have figured that out all on your own. Um, let's see. You, okay, so it might act weird with the game mode. Actually, just dog shit game. Aaron said, "No, I don't think it's dog shit game. It's a fantastic game. It's just dog shit um, uh, support and uh, dog shit." Um, that's really cool. I like the the way the flashlight is like doing that. It's really cool. Uh, and uh, you know, and and dog shit menu and some netcode problems that are absolutely horrific. Don't you wish they had triangle glass pieces so you didn't have to clip them into the wall? This looks really good, actually. Um, as far as, like, what can be done, it looks really good. Uh, but yeah, I actually think I recognize this. Pretty sure I've seen this on Twitter. Yeah, that's what I was also thinking. Maybe it was a short clip on Twitter that I had seen uh, of somebody walking through it, and I saw the, the, your, your, um, the, uh, the flashlight going, or maybe... Look, you did that, too. Look at that. Lots of uh, emissive objects in the distance to make like a building. I've got uh, I've got a up in space an asteroid on the other map that you may have seen in the background or may not. Uh, that's got like a little building on it. It's got like a like a glass dome and uh, stuff like that. This is a really cool map. I don't really like this. It feels like Call of Duty uh, style of level design in my opinion, um, or Battlefield maybe. Um, mainly because it's like a modern day street, city street kind of style of look. You know what I mean? But obviously, but also because the because of the architectural style you're going for is like a modern stru you know structure, it's coming out feeling very uh, which is what they were going for of course. It's feeling very Call of Duty to me, um, which is really cool. Um, by the way, can you just walk right through this, or are they physical objects? Are these okay? So these are like I assume. No, I don't know how you did that right off the bat, actually. Uh, I don't know how you do the stripes. Oh, you just did a block. Oh, right. There's a striped texture. You did the paint. The, there's an actual, like, ac like regular striped texture that you apply to that. I understand now. Um, and then you've got this, like, swampy water down here from... Is this, uh... Oh, it's just... Oh, it's just an object. If you had built this on Myers then you would have gotten that water like Aaron did in his, uh... Or is it water? This is actually on Myers, isn't it? This is Myers water, isn't it? I'm so... I was confused for a second because I thought for a second that it was just a solid object, but it is actually wo wo wobbling in the water. So unless you, like... Oh, wait. Okay. No, you gotta tell me. Ankle, half cover, very good piece. Myers. Yeah, it is Myers. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, uh, that's what I thought. I had to do it in Myers. I was like, yeah. So this is actually what Aaron, Aaron actually made a, uh, like a, he makes beauty corners all the time. Like, he'll just, like, go in there and make a scene, and then just, like, that'll be his, um, you know, that'll be, he, he didn't make the whole map, he just makes a scene, and it's really cool. But yeah, this is really cool. I'm loving how it, like, he got rid of, like, sprint and made it, like, slow movement. It's like Halo 1, like, movement. Uh, or, well, I don't know if he slowed down the movement, actually, now I think about it. You just made the jumps shorter. Did you script ladders? I have to I have to wonder. I did in Waterworks and then I replaced them with grab lifts later. <laughs> in Waterworks classic, there are scripted ladders that actually climb. Um in twenty eight in twenty nine days we won't have to use Myers. Yeah, I know, right? I really can't wait. Yeah, yeah, okay, so you didn't script it or anything like that that in a way Oh you did! Yeah, you just jump. Okay. That works. You jump inside of it and it just brings you to the top. That makes sense. That's um not how I did it, I scripted mine to work like Halo 1 and Halo 2, where if you walk at it and look up, it'll go up. If you look down, you immediately fall. If you're turned around and you're looking down and try and walk into it, then it'll go up. And then if you look up, you'll fall down. And I basically just scripted it to do that kind of thing. But you just did jump and it brings you straight to the top. Which is honestly smoother and probably better way of doing it than the way I did it. Um, you can't cancel halfway through. The one benefit to mine is you can like go up and then just like stay there and like sort of just stay in place and shoot at people from the ladder and you can uh you can cancel by jump by looking a different angle or jumping off and so you know and you can you can uh, and stuff like that but you it appears that your ladder also can do probably jump up and yeah wait can you 
So if you're not looking... Oh, it's just a low gravity zone. Is it? It's more of a survival infection with health packs, ammo packs, flashlights, etc. Yeah, cool. Um, is it bringing me up? Yeah. So do you just make it to where they have low gravity while they're inside of this? Is that what you did? Because that makes a lot more sense too. I thought you were moving me. I thought you had a script that was like literally lifting me up off the ground. Um, but yeah. Ah, can't quite get up there. <laughs> okay, this is a really cool map. I love it. This is great. Um, is it, do you have a version that's like ready for like versus mode on it as well? That's just like, sort of just like regular, you know, Halo, uh, Halo Infinite versus mode. Oh, cool. Wow, that's awesome. You put like a subway in here. If you have any budget left, you could do. You should do an Easter egg of a little tiny like wrapper over here. It's a Subway sandwich wrapper. You know what I mean? Just just a little Subway sandwich inside the Subway would be hilarious. As soon as someone sees it, like it's one of those things. It's like it's not really all that funny whenever you describe it. But if someone was walking through the map and they found a Subway sandwich wrapper inside of the Subway, it might actually be pretty hilarious because they know that you had to go out of your way to make one. You know. <laughs> Man, it's so big. It's super extensive. It's like super detailed. Like there's just more areas to find. I bet whenever I walked away. Oh, this is the tarp that I was talking about using. It's sort of like a, yeah. Um, because I live in Louisiana, as soon as I see the tarp used down here, I realize that's not what you were going for for its intent. But as soon as I saw the tarp down here, I immediately thought, Oh no, it flooded up to here. They had to cut the con the uh, sheetrock away. Oh wait, that's brick. So that was kind of what went through my head. Uh, <laughs> is, oh it flooded, you had to cut the sheetrock away so they would dry so that you wouldn't end up with mold inside your walls. Uh, which Aaron doesn't have to worry about at all because they build things better over there. Out of just brick. Makes sense. But yeah. Let's see, BRB, 99%. Wow, use 90%, 99% of the budget, that's crazy. Well, if you make a version that uh, that's like multiplayer ready instead of like designed to be the cool experience that it is, it might be a really cool big team battle map to have all these twists and turns and stuff like that. To where you could like, and you'd probably have to delete the script for the light, because it might cause lag online with a bunch of other people I don't really know, maybe not. But, uh, and then you would, you would replace all of the objects and like, keep the scripts for like the ladders but like lose the script for the smooth movement speed and it would be like Spartans running around here you could do like two different variants of this map with very little work put into it you know what I mean like lots of work put into it initially huge investment already of your time and effort if you just did that one thing or if you just made a, a multiplayer one you could just like quickly throw together another variant of the map and make it like uh yeah yeah it'd be pretty cool Instead of Dead End, you could name the other one like Dead Zone or something like that. Because there's like people actually fighting each other. <laughs> or something like that. It kind of implied there's like combat going on. This is a cool room. Hey, you know what this reminds me of? Do you do Blender? Or not Blender. Unity. What am I talking about? Do you do Un Unity? Do you Have you used Unity before? Because you basically... This room feels like the demo scene set up for Unity. Which has like literally like almost this exact setup of the the studs in the wall like all like that being half done a light like a work light like that and everything like that this is literally just feels a lot no I'm on Xbox well in uh well I mean in um uh on you know with, with the Unity engine there's a if you go in there and you set up just the demo scene uh, for the high resolution the HD uh, sec, uh, uh what do you call it um. Uh, graphics pack like engine uh, version uh, it basically sets up a scene that reminds me of this room so much like this is like it's it's feel it feels like you did that on purpose but I but you but yeah <laughs> it's that it's that uh, close to it like it was like supposed to be a reference and I love that well this is a really cool map I like to look into look at other people's maps and I haven't in a while at the end of like one of my streams I like to some like if someone comes into map into the stream and they want to show me their map I always, like, at the very end of the stream, just, like, hop into the map and, like, walk around in it and talk about how cool it is and a bunch of the, uh, really cool aspects of it. One I love these remaining. rounded brick areas. Was my flashlight flickering on purpose, or was that a weird glitch? Because that felt creepy. Um, 
Actually, the light you use for this flashlight, you could do like an eerie horror flicker with the uh, settings on it. Um, and make it like really creepy, that'd be kind of cool. Or like, at a certain time, at the in the map, this map I've made like five times over 15 years. Oh, nice. Oh, cool. So you did it on Halo 5 as well? Did you do it on, uh... Are you saying you did it on Halo 4? Like, 15 years. That's like going back to... Is that going back to Halo Reach? Or is Halo Reach almost 20 years now? <laughs> um, Halo Reach is getting old. Um, I love these... Yeah, what I was saying is I love these curved there before it ends on the timer. I can ask you about the thing in a second, I was saying, but... But you could, like, make the, the light flicker, or, like, have it to where after a certain time in the match, you replace the flashlight the player has with a flickery one. It's so, like at the very end of the match, your flashlight starts like going out, you know? Be great. Oh, Far Cry 2 and 3, Halo Reach, and Halo 4. That's awesome. You should, um. That's really cool. <laughs> you should do what you do, YouTube, because if you made a YouTube video going through, uh, like flying through each version of the map, I'd then like really stop going, or, or, and then like at the very end, just like like a YouTube short, even, like a one minute one. Just fly through each version of the map and then like show off the Halo Infinite one and just be like how you scripted it and got to do it with scripts because I don't know if Far Cry 2 and 3 had scripts. Um, but yeah, anything with a map editor I've played it. Nice. The um, So like you could do that and then like the final one you'd be like suddenly super moody and the lighting and the flashlight and all that stuff would be scripted into it and it'd be really cool. I think that'd be awesome. You should probably, yeah, that, like, that would be a really cool video. Uh, that would probably get a lot of views for a uh, YouTube video. And then like, but if you did like a longer one, you could do that one for the for the one minute one, and then at the end of that one, edit in some gameplay played on the map on, across the generations of games that you've done it in. And that'd be really cool. It would also just be really cool for yourself to be able to go back and look at that video to remember all of the cool maps you built later. You know what I mean? Like, like a legacy. A little like quick legacy thing but yeah oh fill out the survey I need to do this I haven't if I had a decent computer I would yeah um, I guess not all of those games are probably easy to do clips on I know you can do like one minute clips right you can set the can you change the limit the, the, the uh, clip length in um, on the Xbox you can on PC where you can change whenever you do that little like you know capture no, not that one this is an Xbox one controller not an Xbox Series S or X. Um, so, uh, there's that thing where you can, um, you know, uh, you basically set it to a full minute if you wanted to on PC, but I think on Xbox it's limited to 30 seconds and you can't change that. But anyway, but, uh, but yeah, I'm still using my Dell Precision from 2007. Nice. 30 seconds for 4K. Okay, 30 seconds for 4K is the maximum. Okay. Um, yeah. One minute for 1080, gotcha. Well, you could get those clips there, then share it to Xbox Live, then go grab them on your computer and edit them together. But if you're still, if you're using a computer from 2007, the video editing software might be broke, might be too much. There's a video editing software, what's the one I use? Shotcut or OpenShot? There's two of them that have almost the same name. I'm trying to remember which one I use. OpenShot video editor, do I still have Shotcut installed? Because if I do, I won't be able to tell you if I use which one I use. Because <laughs> I think I uninstalled the one I don't use. Yeah, okay. I don't appear. I don't see it anywhere over here. Yeah. I mean, I could tab out of this just to show you. Uh, no, I can't. There's no star bar. Okay, never mind. Okay. Anyway, the point is, Open Shot uh, is apparently the one that I use, uh, and it's it should work on one from 2007. Oh man, wait, 2007. That means. Does your operating system, is it, does it not, is it, are you to the point where your operating system is not even supported by Windows? Because we have a computer um, that's so old that it, it's the, it's Windows 8, and they just stopped supporting Windows 8. So it's like, great, it's that old. Because, yeah. So, my win mine's Windows 10 right now, but yeah. Oh, it is Windows 10? Okay, good. Because that, that would be very unfortunate. Um, because that computer is like, we now use it as a streaming computer for my kids. It just streams YouTube and Netflix and stuff like that in their bedroom now because it's, it's no longer supported. Apparently it was free. Oh, the update to Windows 10? Nice. Uh, yeah, it, that update, they did have an update to Windows 10 that was free. I didn't accept the update to Windows 11 for free because, um, I tried it on a la on our laptop. My wife and I have, we have got a laptop, my, we, 
we tried to do it on laptop and we immediately hated it. So it feels like the Windows 8 between Windows 7 and Windows 10. You know what I mean? Like it's definitely, they're doing their bad operating system, good operating system, bad operating system, good, you know, cycle. It's definitely happening with Windows 11. I don't, I don't like it at all. They also, they're trying to make it basically Mac. Like they're trying to center the start bar. It's like whoever decided to do that must be like, I don't know. Yep, old Betsy still kicking. Nice. Well, if it's Windows, if you can run Windows 10, then it should be able to work on OpenShot. Your main thing is that the bigger the video gets on OpenShot, the more RAM it uses. So it's about how much RAM you have. It eventually gets to the point where, like right now, my computer has a ridiculous amount of RAM um, that I'm very happy about because I did an upgrade somewhat recently. And I've got, where is it? Where's memory? Here, 31.9 gigabytes of usable RAM at any given point in time, which is fantastic. I used to do it with eight gigabytes of RAM though, and that was just fine. It worked with OpenShot doing that. That's how I did my YouTube videos for um, for uh, Dungeons and Dragons, which are still on my channel, but they're really old, um, where I talked about things about D&D. &D. But anyway, um, so if your computer can run it, you could probably make that video. I don't know, I'm rambling about you making a video now and suggesting you do it because I also want to, I, would, I don't have all of those, uh, you know, games. I don't have Far Cry 2 and 3, I don't think. Um, they're probably on the game's pass, so I probably do have them, but I don't know. Uh, so I, and I would have to go like, go looking for it and finding it. So um, yeah, for me to see your other map, your other versions of your map, you'd either have to make a video of them or I would have to uh, go install the games that I may or may not have access to and then go hunting them down. But I would love to see a video you make, so yeah, that'd be cool. You should do that. Anyway, that's all I'm trying to explain. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I gotta get going. Um, like, you know, like I was saying a, lot, a while back. Um, but yeah. Oh, they're not nearly as good as Infinites. Oh, I mean, they're still good, though. They'll be... I, I wanna... S I, the thing is... Like, when I played Ripshade's map and it was just a block out, I was a wee lad. Uh, yeah, whenever I played Ripshade's block out, even though it was just all blocks, it's still great. It was still great. I, I can, like, kind of see the gold through the shit, you know what I mean? So, like, whenever the, his visuals were, like, still very basic, it was a block out. There were orange cubes and gray cubes and stuff like that. But the actual map was so good. Talk up another one you know, for the big that was, Yeah, that it was good. So I would love to see yours because even though they're old, and I know Far Cry, I, I played the Far Cry 1, the original Far Cry map maker and made crap back then. Thank you for following. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, the uh, I, f I followed the... Uh, uh, the uh, I, I played Far Cry 1 uh, map editor. I know how bad that one was, and I remember how bad our maps were back then. It was kind of cool that you could alter the terrain better than Forge, but other than that, like, the number of objects you had to place were, like, terrible, and they are very basic. Um, and we had a lot of fun with that one, so if I can look at those maps when I was a kid and think they were cool looking, I'll be able to look at your map and see how, see the cool stuff that's in there, trust me. So if you, like, make a video and release it, it would just be cool to see the evolution of your map over the years, and then the Halo Infinite version, and then in the future, if you make, you know, the next Halo game, or maybe if you go over to Unreal Engine and Fortnite and make the map again, you know what I mean? You can just do it again, you can add that to the end of the video and keep on adding to it, you know what I mean? Far Cry 5 Editor is still really good, right, yeah. So, yeah, it would just be really cool to just see, like, you could just keep on adding to it over the years. Like, there's a Diggy Diggy Hole video that I love, where, you know, this is completely, sounds completely irra irrational that this would be what I'm talking about. But there's the history, the history of the Diggy Diggy Hole uh, video that someone made. And all they did was grab other people's Diggy Diggy Hole videos, like, you, t like uh, you know... All they did was they grabbed each of the versions of Diggy Diggy Hole and put them back to back. And it's entertaining, and I watched the entire thing through probably two or three times now. Uh, and my kids have watched it even more. Just because it's cool to watch it evolve, you know what I mean? Just to see things like that just evolve over time is really entertaining, despite the fact that you wouldn't think it would be. I mean, it's the same thing as like watching someone make a map on stream. I mean, people are wanting to see it evolve over time, and they want to see... Uh, or like, um, you know, the, the people who like build buildings out of dirt and stuff like that, that's all cool too. Uh, you know what I mean? Like all of those. I mean, the fake ones are now really lame in my opinion. The one, I think they were already kind of lame. I could tell, tell they were fake anyway, but I thought they were less fake than they were. You know what I mean? 
those ones where they were like dig the houses out of the ground and it turns out they're using an excavator to dig them. I was like, I, I expected there to be like 15 other people behind there with a shovel, but not using the stick the whole time. But you used an excavator? Come on, guys. Anyway, I'm, I'm rambling now at the end of my stream, as I often do, Aaron can tell you. Uh, <laughs> I often will get into a random ramble at the end and then just keep on talking for a bit well beyond whenever I was planning on leaving. But, yes. Anyway, um... I need to delete videos so that I have room to do the thing where I can stream with whatever music I want and record without the music in there anyway. So I gotta go through all my backlog and delete a bunch of videos off my hard drive because I literally just maxed out my hard drive. And then I need to set that up, Aaron. So maybe by tomorrow I'll have that set up, but yeah. I can tell you what. Yeah, you, I, would say, I was just saying that I always end up rambling at the end of my, in, at the end of my videos about something and like talking about it for like an extra like 15, 30 minutes by the, at the end of the video. Uh, and that before I end up signing off, like after I say, I gotta go. And then I'm like, I'm still here 30 minutes later rambling about whatever it was that suddenly caught my fancy and I'm just still talking about it. <laughs> but yeah, good stuff. Good luck with the contest. Thanks. I hope, I hope we get one of them. I don't need to get first place. I don't think Ripshade feels like he needs to get first place. I'd love to get, there's like 10 places. I'd love to get one of those places. But there's also over 20 people now, I th I'm pretty sure. So there's way more people contesting than there are places to, 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 to win, so. Who knows? And there's a community vote, but that's gonna go to Unique, because he's got the huge fan base, or uh, if he's in it. I think Unique, I mean, uh, Infinite Forges is definitely in it. He's gonna get a lot of the votes for the for that. But anyway, I'll catch you guys next time, uh, and uh, yeah, I'll hopefully have the music thing properly set up. And what I'm gonna do, by the way, Aaron, is I'm gonna play my Halo multiplayer playlist. The one I play when I play Halo, that I made whenever I got Master Chief Collection like a year or a year and a half before Infinite came out. I'm gonna play that, because that has like all my favorite music that I play during Halo that makes me play Halo better. And I think it'll just be really cool to translate over into uh, the stream. And then I may build an actual like playlist to play later. But it's all non, it's all copyrighted stuff, so I can't do that on on video, on YouTube video. So, um, and yeah, it's very cool. I like it. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later. <laughs> Bye.